welcome to in 5 minutes now we are going to discuss a new chapter structures and unions according to definition structures and unions are the user defined data types which hold multiple variables of same or different types so like an array structure is a collection of multiple variables but here a structure can hold multiple variables of same or different types and each variable will have its own independent name also like in case of arrays each variable is not known with its own different name every variable in the array is known with the array name and its index that is 0 1 2 3 when we started our syllabus of c programming that is spa we started with basic data types like int float char which are the simple variables which hold single values and mostly numeric values then we went further to study arrays little bit complex kind of variables hold multiple values together of same type now we'll be learning structures little bit one step ahead of that a bit complex variable again which can hold multiple variables it can be combination of arrays pointers strings simple data types put together under one name but each variable will be also known by its own name also okay now this discussion will not help us to understand obviously the real concept of what structure is and how to use it let's first summarize what we studied structure is a user defined data type that holds multiple variables of same or different types variables stored inside the structure are called as members of the structures like in case of arrays we call them as array elements here we call them as structure members members of structure can be only declared in the structure but cannot be initialized so structure members inside the structure cannot be initialized actually a structure cannot consist of any kind of executable statement variable initialization inputs outputs calculations loops nothing is allowed in the structure only variable declarations are allowed inside a structure body now how we really define a structure to define a structure variable now see there are two kind of syntax over here the first syntax we will be working on is called as defining a structure variable to define a structure variable we write struct it's a keyword of c like int or float or for while do while are the keywords struct is a keyword then in curly brackets we enclose multiple variables like data type then variable name semicolon data type variable name semicolon and so on we write multiple variables then at the end of curly bracket we put name of the structure that is like array name or some variable name and then we put semicolon so that is how the syntax of structure will be okay now let's see an example of a structure here i defined a structure with two variables a and b struct keyword starts the structure definition then open close curly brackets in those curly brackets i have mentioned int a and float b the name of the structure is m the structure variable has name m a and b are called as members of the structure so we say a is a integer member and b is a float member now you can see over here variables can be only declared but cannot be initialized so that is how we define a structure with some variable name 